welcome to Wise TV English News. First, the top stories. Women organizations, student state protest demonstration in front of UP Bhavan in Delhi, demanding CBI prof in Pravishchanam's death. Manipur may lose right to MSRTC land in Dimapur unless government pays timely attention. And one killed, three injured in hit and run incidents. Protesters storm Porompat police station demanding booking of guilty car driver. Good evening, this is Rubula Kangavam presenting today's news and now let's see the news in detail. Volunteers of various women organizations of Manipur and Students Union based in Delhi today stage a protest demonstration in front of Uttar Pradesh Bhavan demanding CBI prop in the incident of Pravish Chanam's death. Protesters took out a protest march from Manipur Bhavan to UP Bhavan as part of the demonstration. Protesters demanded to know the present status of the case, protection of Northeast people in Delhi and national capital region, and justice for Pravish Chanam. President of Kangle Imal Lup Arkesana Kumbi, Secretary of Poire Le Marol Imaira Paibi Thongam Apabi, Vice President of Apunba Manipur Kanba Imal Lup El Nganbi, and representatives of Women's Association for Economic Development, Kangle Park Women's Welfare Association, Iram Dam Kanba Apunba Lup Manipur Students Association, Unica, People's Action Committee, and DAMMS, along with students of various universities in Delhi, took part in the protest march. Delhi police took up tight security measures to advert any unwanted incident during the agitation in front of UP Bhavan. Protesters handed over a memorandum to UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath through the officials of the Bhavan. The memorandum urged the UP Chief Minister to have CBI investigate the case and punish the culprits responsible for the death of Pravish Chanam. One of the <laughs> women... <laughs> On the other hand, business communities of Pauna and Thangal markets in Nepal, including Bengali Samaj, Punjabi Samaj, Brahman Samaj and Jain Samaj have also extended support to the demand of justice for Pravish Chanam. Addressing a press meet held at Manipur Press Club, Aswak Kumar Agarwal questioned under which law of land the body of a person whom family was searching after he remained traceless for days had been cremated without informing the family or relatives. It is obvious that the case under which circumstances Pravish Chanam died is very suspicious. Ashok Kumar also demanded that the case be handed over to CBI and the culprits involved in the murder case should be given fitting punishment. क्या ऐसा कानून में कहीं है कहीं लिखा गया है कि अनक्लेम बॉडी बोलके बिना पेपर में दिए बिना उसकी फोटो फ्लैश किए किसी को हक है उसका संस्कार करने का शायद मेरे हिसाब से नहीं है The condition of MRTC complex located at Dimapur is deteriorating day by day due to long negligence by the authority concerned and it is apprehensive that Manipur might not be able to claim it as its land after some days. 
Although it was reported to the authority concerned long ago that uh, private individuals have encroached on the complex, taking advantage of the fallen perimeter wall, state government has not yet taken the situation seriously. Repair workshop, market and hardware were seen constructing inside the complex and an organization has been enjoying the revenue arising out of it. Asumi Baptist Church was also found extending its campus in the MRTC complex. Worst of all, there is no any sign inside the complex that can prove it that the land belongs to Manipur government. Protesters this morning stormed the Porompal police station demanding booking of the guilty person in a hit and run incident on Hatta Lamlong Road near NRL oil pump. The incident occurred yesterday when a central car drove recklessly, hitting four persons one after the another, killing one of them. Man who was killed in yesterday's incident has been identified as Thangjam Paka, 56, son of late Yaima of Kurai Thangjam Lekai. He was presently working as tailor master at fashion dresses at North AOC. He was returning home on his bicycle when the central car hit him, ending his life on the spot. He had just crossed the NRL oil pump on Hatta Lamlong Road. The registration number of the central car in question is MN01K6455. The central had hit a man near public hospital at, as it headed towards the NRL oil pump. Later, after the car hit a paka near the oil pump, it hit two more persons, one on foot and the other on Activa, it is reported. Paka died after the car hit and drove him for about 100 meters by the wheels. On the other hand, the man who was injured near public hospital Hatta has been identified as Muhammad Jamin, 49, a resident of Sora and presently staying at Hatta. Those injured in the car rampage are undergoing treatment at Janem's hospital. The Imphal East Police recovered the central from Pangai area at late night yesterday. According to police, there is no question about defending the guilty person and appropriate action is being taken up. The 16th Foundation Day of Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Dasam was held at the auditorium of Janims. As part of the observance, 65th Mega Blood Donation Camp was also organized. Education Minister T. H. Wadisham, President of Dasam M. Angamba, Director of Janims Professor T. H. Bimo, President of KSO General Headquarters Pautin Thang Lupeng, and President of Ansam Set Satang attended the observance. The Chingu Maito Kongnang Thaba Award, which is being distributed every year, has been conferred to Headmaster of Kumbi Sadong Primary School, K.H. Indra Kumar, Principal of Lamlong Higher Secondary School, Shantibala, and Science Graduate Teacher of Oinam High School, T.H. Swaran Kumar. Minister Sham Kumar said, positive thinking is necessary for a healthy society. Students must have the ability to clarify doubts with the teachers. <laughs> Let us think, let us ponder upon it. Every walk of life that we need good people. Good people later, positive 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 Minister of Forest and Environment T. S. Jam Kumar has issued a warning of taking stern action against using LED lights and poaching migratory birds in Loktak Lake. Minister T. S. Jam Kumar was speaking to media persons at the release of annual calendar of Loktak Development Authority at his office chamber. MLA N. Indrajit, Project Director of LDA L. Bagaton and S. E. A. Kumarjit were also present during the release. Minister T.S. Sham Kumar further aided that people will be able to understand various works taken up and to be taken up by LDA in the annual calendar that was released today. Preserving the serenity and beauty of Loktak Lake will need support and cooperation of the people living surrounding areas of the lake. Maintaining that various wildlife inhabiting in and around the lake make the lake more beautiful and attractive, Minister T.S. Sham Kumar appealed to all concerned to do away with poaching wildlife. Lokta 
kalau mungkin langkah aga atau berpambisian apa, ada kini nunggu angda hidup tu orang kanda, kau kiri betis ini naga ngah hak pak ngah apa pak, masih tau bi kanu hai tu na ikhlan dah release tau bersih dah, ai apil tau ni. As part of agitation initiated by Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization, headquarters demanding white paper on all welfare schemes met for minority Muslims undertaken by Department of MOBC from 2010 to 2017 after an inquiry, Wangui branch of the organization state a sit-in protest at Oinam Sawongbong. General Secretary of the organization, M.A. Chesaba, said, Central government have been taking various schemes for the welfare of the minorities of the country. However, it is suspicious that the Department of MOBC of Manipur government have been depriving and swindling the benefits of minorities. MH Saba therefore drew the attention of the authority concerned on the matter at the earliest. <laughs> A China-made hand grenade was found placed on the roof of a cement shop located at Kuraitai Kabilerak under the jurisdiction of Warampat Police Station. The hand grenade was discovered around 9.30 this morning. Bomb disposal squad of Manipur Police has removed the hand grenade safely. The shop is rented out by one R.K. Sanatomba of Kurai Sajor Lekai. The cement shop is owned by one Potsungbam Singajit of Kurai Konsam Lekai. The bomb was discovered while fixing the roof this morning. The identity of those who placed the hand grenade and their motive is yet to be figured out. A team of Porampat police has begun investigating into the incident. One day sees work strike along with rally of passenger vehicles organized by Nongpo Ningtho Magic Association and a Pioneer Irish and Diesel Auto Owner and Drivers Welfare Association was held against failure to repair the 7km stretched road from Sikong Sikmai to Yairipok Market under Hairok Assembly Constituency. Vehicles will stop service until an assurance is given to repair the road. Maira Pai B organizations, clubs, Organizations and large number of people joined the procession which commenced from Sikong Sekmai Market till Yadipo Market and later converged at its starting point where a public meeting was also held. Councillor of Sikong Sekmai Municipal Council Ward No. 3, A. Chandramani said, the road have been remaining in ba bad shape for the last 10 years. Some parts of the road that were repaired last year did not last long. Therefore, people have been facing immense difficulty due to the bad condition of the road. The Chief Minister has been apprised on December 15, People's Day, in connection with the matter. Secretary of Nongpok Ningtho Magic Association, N. Asatomba, said, passenger service will be stopped until an assurance to repair the road has been given by the authority concerned. A combined team, Vishnupur District Police and Commando under the aegis of SP Vishnupur, Jogesh Chandra Haubijam, apprehended a person along with 6,000 WY tablets while frisking bypassers at Kwakta Golai Tingyal area. The person has been identified as Namboy Mate, aged 30, son of Jamkothang Mate from Molen Phai village, currently staying at Molnom village in Churachanpur. A mobile handset and 15,000 rupees in cash have also been seized from his procession. Later, the apprehended person along with seized items was handed over to Moira police. Burma Sugnu Road Bus Union and Chandal Bus Owners Association have urged the government to sit and chalk out a positive measure to address the inconveniences caused to 38 buses approved by STA and plying on the route due to Imphal Chandal MST service by January 8, failing which buses will stop plying the route from January 9. Member of National Commission for Minorities, Tulekha Kumbare, calls on Chief Minister N. Biren today. The Chief Minister N. Biren presented gift to Tulekha Kumbare as he welcomed her at the meeting held at the Chief Minister's Secretariat. The meeting discussed the steps taken up for the welfare of the minorities in the state.
boxing coach and Arjuna awardee and Suranjoy and international boxer S. Sait Sarjubala called on Chief Minister N. Biren at Chief Minister Secretariat today. Coach N. Suranjoy and boxer S. Sait Sarjubala urged the Chief Minister to pay more attention to the young boxers of the state. Chief Minister N. Biren assured that the government will extend all possible help to the young boxers of the state. Major General of IGAR South Birendra Singh called on the Chief Minister at his office and on behalf of all the personnel of Assam Rifles conveyed greetings and goodwill to the people of Manipur for the new year. During the interaction, security situation in the state was also discussed. General Virendra Singh briefed the Chief Minister about the security situation along the borders in the state and informed him about various developmental and welfare activities undertaken by Assam Rifles. 26 Assam Rifles of Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of IGAR South conducted an awareness program on common causes of AIDS and preventive measures at H. Mongjang Village, Technopol District. Resource persons explained in detail the fight against HIV AIDS. A cultural team of Manipur University has left for Guwahati today. The team comprises 39 students from various colleges of the university are going to take part in different competition of the 33rd East Zone Inter-University Youth Festival. The festival is going to be held from January 5 to 9 at Guwahati University. Dean of Students Welfare Professor K. H. Tomba flagged off the cultural team from the Centenary Hall of Manipur University. Guest lecturer of Manipur University, Huidrom Rakesh, also accompanied the cultural team. CECO has informed to put an end of the present land dispute of Senjam Chirang at the earliest. The organization has appealed to the government to bring an amicable solution of the present situation. Various forms of agitation will be launched if this issue is not solved. Village authority member Angom Budi has drawn attention of the authority concern to Blacktop National Highway leading towards Kwata. Budi further said the main sources of livelihood for the village are preparations of bamboo shoot, terrace farming and heating of woods to prepare charcoal. However, villagers have been facing inconvenience to prepare charcoal due to diminishing of woods. The government junior high school in the village has only three teachers. As a result, students go to nearby villages to go to school. He appealed to the government to provide livelihood for the villagers. <laughs> A woman from the village drew the attention of the government to repair the road at the earliest. ปาวมาตาไปจอกไอ้ที่ปากพังเดบะได้สิได้ <laughs> And before we wind up the top stories once again. Women organization students stage protest demonstration in front of UP Bhavan in Delhi, demanding CBI crop in Pravis Chanam's death. Manipur may lose right to MSRTC land in Dimapur unless government pays timely attention. And one killed, three injured in hit and run incident. Protesters stormed Forum Park police station demanding booking of guilty car driver. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.